Welcome to this Excel Stat short video on how to run a multiple correspondence analysis or MCA with Excel Stat. The first thing you need to do is to go into the menu Analyzing Data and select the option Multiple Correspondence Analysis. In the dialog box that opens, you will first need to select the table of data. We select here the answers to the first four questions. Note that the selection contains a variable name, so we leave the option variable labels ticked. In addition, we will add the observation names, so we tick the option observation labels and select the column A. The result will be displayed in a new sheet as the option sheet is selected. We can move on to the next tab options. Here we will enable an advanced option, supplementary data. The filter factor is 1 over p, which will enable the selection of factors with an eigenvalue greater than 1 over p, where p is the number of variables. The two other options are either to calculate the maximum number of factors or to specify a minimum percentage of variance to be explained. In the next tab, Supplementary Data, we select the additional answer to the fifth question, which is another qualitative variable. Go to the next tab, Missing Data. Here we select the default option, which is to not accept missing data. We will then get a warning if we have missing data. In the next tab, Outputs, we will select all results but the descriptive statistics. Finally, in the tab Charts, we will select only the symmetric plots with observations and variables. We will also add colored labels. You can now click on the OK button. The summary of the selection helps you to verify the settings of the analysis. Click on Continue. The dialog box that opens is to be used to select the duo of factors to be plotted. We can see that the first two factors explain more than 87% of the variance, so we will just select this pair by clicking on Select and then Done to proceed to the computations. The first result that is displayed is the disjunctive table. That is for all samples the recording of the category into binary variables. Then we have the birth table. It is a cross table of counts of the individuals having replied a couple of specific answers. The script plots shows that one factor is explaining most of the variance. Then we get the principal coordinates. We can see that people that are not satisfied will be on the left of axis F1. That also people that are satisfied will be on the right of this axis. In the direction of F2 positive, we have the fact that the car has not been repaired. Next, we have the standard coordinates. Then we have the contribution of the variables to the different factors. Next come the squared cosines and the test values. Finally, we have the symmetric plot. In this plot, we can see the correlation between the fact that the car was not repaired and the people were not satisfied. Also, people that are satisfied will probably come back. Thank you for watching this video.